Hi, so this is Code Cowboy here, and what I want to show here in this video is a side-by-side -side comparison of two databases, one that is not partitioned and one that is partitioned. So what I have here is a series of uh, dates here, basically years. So I, I partitioned uh, this order table into 17 partitions based on year, and let me demonstrate that here uh, by going to the database. So this is the non-partitioned uh, database which has 40 million rows in one single partition and let me go to the database that is partitioned and show you my structure there so you'll notice here this is the partition database and each of these partitions have 1.6 million rows, 3.6 million, 4.3 million rows, and so on and so forth. And you'll notice here there's a 40 million rows, and this is an index here on uh, one partition. So you'll see compared to before there is actually 17 partitions here. And these you'll notice the rows are zero. You'll notice this is the rows column. The rows are zero if you remember correctly. Um, I actually have years here that are in the future that have no rows. So uh, let me go ahead. That is the way I partitioned the orders table. And I'm going to run a identical query here. So you'll notice uh, this is my uh, AdventureWorks 2012A, which is the non-partitioned. And this is my AdventureWorks 2012B, which is the partition. And I am going to run it here. And what you'll notice is um, the first one is actually a lot slower. So if I look at my execution plan, you'll see that was 89% of the cost uh, out of the two queries. And the second query is only 11%. And the, the first one is the non-partition, whereas the second one is the partition. So that is um, basically what I wanted to show is you know, for instances where you provide the partition key. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I, I would say 90% of the data or 90% of the systems that I've seen have uh, current data that is accessed maybe 99% of the time. So uh, data that is six months old uh, from today is accessed way more frequently than data that is a year old or two years old or 10 years old. Um, and I would say every system that I've encountered in my consulting would uh, dictate that to be more or less true. So this scheme that I have with the yearly partition, or you could do it more frequently, you could do it quarterly or monthly. Uh, monthly might be overdoing it a little bit, but uh, you know, semi-annual, uh, that type of alignment. Um, and just keep it simple and it might just work for you. So I hope this helps in you deciding to actually go ahead and maybe uh, attempt to do the partitioning. Uh, just make sure that you do do what I've done here, which is side-by-side -side comparison and actually more rigorous testing in your QA environment as far as um, performance comparisons and making sure that uh, areas where you don't provide the partition key, uh, which in my case, uh, actually uh, gives the queries a performance gain because it points to directly to the partitions that is needed. So, um, you know, I hope this helps in you uh, going about your adventure and uh, thank you for watching.